If you have products which, for example, come in different sizes or colors, uh, but you want them to appear as one product on your website with a drop down or drop downs to differentiate uh, between the different versions of the product, then you need to be using product groups. And the advantage of product groups is it keeps each product separate but makes it really easy to choose between them. Let's take the example of if you were selling a certain type of hat, then you might have that hat in small, medium, and large, and red, green, and blue, for example. And so the customer would select small, medium, or large, and red, green, and blue from drop downs, and then click on Add to Basket, and it would uh, add their selected item to the basket. But the great thing about this is that the product on the product manager is a separate product so it can have completely different attributes to the other, other versions of the same product so it could have a different price it might have a different description it could have a different weight for example and you can use all the marketing features as well say for example someone bought a red hat from you you could cross sell them a red belt to match that hat so it gives you really uh, a lot of control over the customer experience uh, when they're purchasing these products so let's see how you do that now this is the product manager in front of us here and if I click on the new product group icon which is the one with the two boxes in it you get the new product group dialog enter a product group code I'll call it hat example product group hat example for the product group name then we enter the variation again we put size then you click on save then you can enter another variation we use color You'll notice there's a box on the right as well that says fixed. Let's say, for example, you wanted to allow people to have their, their name sewn onto the front of the hat. Then you'd have that as a non-fixed variant in this product group. And so you might type in here, name to sew on. And then that allows the customer, that, that would present the customer with a free text field with the product so they can enter the name to sew on. It won't affect the specific product which is selected because that's selected from the size and the color drop downs but it gives them the opportunity to add an extra piece of information which goes through the cart and you can see that in the order as well. But we won't do that on this example so if I click on close you'll see that we've got an empty product group and I can click to add a product to this group. If you don't see that you click on group view at the top and that will show you it then. You need to be in group view to see the groups, otherwise it will just list the separate products separately. So if I click on uh, this link to add a product, I'll call it small or SMRD hat, small red hat, small red hat, and so the size will put small and the color will put red. We'll give it a price for the small one, we'll make it one pound. And of course you could set up all the other attributes as well. So I'll just click on save for the moment. Now obviously if you've got a lot of products to enter, bearing in mind that even a hat coming in small, medium and large, red, green and blue, that's nine products. Uh, you could uh, spend a lot of time entering this data. So uh, there's a handy copy icon. If I click on that now, it asks you if you want to copy the product. And there we go. By default, it gives it the prefix of the item code of product and a number. So now I can click on that and we can make this, for example, uh, medium red hat. So we give that the item code MDRD hat. Perhaps that's going to be five pounds. And of course, you'd update the product group fields as well. In this case, the uh, size would be medium. Then if I click on save, you'll see that that appears as well. Now I've already set up uh, an example of this, which I'm going to show you now. If I just switch to that, so in this example, we've used hats just like I was showing you before, and we've got red, blue, and green, small, medium, and large, and each one's got a different uh, price. One pound for the small, five pound for the medium, and ten pound for the large. Uh, let's just uh, let's put one out of stock just to show you this. The blue medium hat, we'll put that out of stock. So, how do you add this to your website? If I click on Show Me the Code, it gives you the code. And the best piece of code on here is the dynamic display code. You'll need the professional version of the card if you want to use this. But this allows you to dynamically show the price and the stock level on your actual web page. 
it's got some instructions down the bottom here you simply paste in a few lines of code onto your web page and uh, it will be shown for you so let's see what that looks like okay so I've run the code here as you can see this is a really simple example I haven't used any extra formatting or anything you can select the size and the color uh, let's have large blue so it shows that's in stock uh, the price is ten pounds I don't know large green that's ten pound of course medium was uh, five pounds change that to small then that'd be one pound you can change the color I think we had medium blue didn't we We put out of stock medium blue that's out of stock and it comes up with the link that says email we went back in stock if I click on that link bear in mind that be on your web page it asks for your first name and your email address and the customer can enter their details there and be emailed uh, when that item is back in stock so really lots of functionality available uh, using this system and it's really easy to add it to your website as well so take a look at that that's product groups